Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to How to Crochet for Beginners, class number six. Today we are going to be learning double crochet. To make your double crochet stitches, your coaster, you will need yarn. I'm using Saver from Ice Yarns. It is a four worsted weight acrylic. I'm also using a six millimeter hook or a J hook. You can use two stitch markers to keep track of your first and last stitches of the row. You'll need a needle for sewing in your ends when we are finished, and you'll need a pair of scissors. So let's get started. We're going to start by making a slip knot. So lay your tail over your non-dominant hand, hold it down and wrap it around two fingers, making a little bit of an X, and just poke that working yarn underneath the loop around your fingers. Pull it up and shrink it down. And now we're going to chain 10. So holding your tail right underneath your slip knot that you just made, push your hook onto your working yarn underneath, tip it up, turn, and bring it through that loop on your hook and size it up. So that means push it onto the fat part of your hook. If you want a refresher on how to chain, I will link that in the cards up above, as well as the How to Crochet for Beginners classes in the description box down below. So chain 10. That's two. Here is three, four, five, six, seven. And see how I'm not pulling my yarn? I'm letting those chains be nice and relaxed. There is eight, nine, and ten. If you are a tight crocheter, you could use a larger crochet hook just for your chain. To count your chains, you don't count the knot and you don't count what's on your hook. You just count these little V's in between. So our first V is right on top of our knot, right there. So there is one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that is ten chains. And now we want to grab our tenth chain, the last one we did. Just give it a little pinch. And we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. So that chain three gives us the same height as our double crochet. So now we're going to roll our chain to the side. We want to look for those back loops. The first back loop is right underneath our working yarn, hiding down in there. So that is our first loop down in there. So there's one, two, and three. Those are the chains we just made. And here is the fourth chain. We want to go into the fourth chain or the fourth back loop. So wrap your yarn and into that fourth chain, or that fourth back loop. Just slide it onto your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it through. Slide all those loops back up onto your fat part of your crochet hook. Wrap your yarn, turn your hook so it's facing towards you, and just take off two loops. One and two. Now size everything back up on the fat part of your hook. Wrap your yarn, turn your hook so it's facing towards you, that hooky bit, and slide it through the last two loops. So that is your first double crochet. Pull a loop up to get that hook out of our way so we can see that first stitch we just did. Right here, that's our first double crochet. And we want to put a stitch marker there. So pop a stitch marker into that stitch underneath both strands of that V. And put your hook back on, shrink down that loop. And we are ready to look for our next camel bump. So put your thumb on the pretty side of those Vs and just kind of roll it to the side. Then you'll be able to see our camel bumps. So one, two, three are the next ones. We're going to go into the next camel bump or the next back loop right here. So wrap your yarn and into that next stitch. Just slide that loop onto your hook. If it is hard to get your hook through, you might have chained too tightly. So you might want to go back and chain with a larger hook just for those first 10 uh, chains. So grab your yarn and bring it back. Make all your loops the same size on the fat part of your hook. Wrap your yarn, turn your hook so it's facing towards you, and take off the first two loops. Make everything big again on the fat part of your hook. 
Wrap your yarn, turn your hook, and take off two. So that's our second double crochet. Wrap your yarn, look for that next back loop, which is right here. I'm gonna go into that back loop, slide it onto your hook, bring your yarn back through, make everything big on the fat part of your hook, grab your yarn, turn your hook so it's facing down, and slide it through those first two loops. Make everything big again, grab your yarn, and take off the last two loops. Just like that. So I'll show you what that looks like in slow motion. end of our row we have one chain left so we can see our knot is right here and our back loop is waiting for us right there so that's going to be where we put our last double crochet so wrap your yarn and into that last back loop grab your yarn and bring it back size all your loops up on the fat part of your hook wrap your yarn and take off two wrap your yarn and take off two. So that is our last double crochet of the row. So we're gonna mark that with a stitch marker, pull a loop up, just kind of hold it out of the way, get your hook out of there too. And we're gonna look for this last stitch, the one we just made right now. So right here, and we're just gonna pop our stitch marker in and snap it shut. And now we can count our stitches. So our chain does not count for anything in this pattern. Sometimes it will, depending on the pattern you're using. But for this pattern, it doesn't count for anything. So we're just gonna be counting these stitches. And half double crochet, you can even count with your fingers. So here's our chain right there. We're not counting it. So we're just gonna be counting these actual double crochets that we made. So using your finger and thumb, you can even separate them and just count them like this. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that is what we want. Our chain doesn't count for anything in this pattern. So chain three, one, two, and three. Slide your hand under your working yarn, grab your work and turn it. And you can see our very first stitch is right where our stitch marker is. So you can take that out now if it's in your way and you know where that stitch is. Wrap your yarn and go into that same stitch. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So it's a double takeoff. Double crochet is double takeoff. Now we can move that stitch marker up into that stitch that we just made right underneath our hook. Just like that. And now we're gonna do one double crochet into each stitch all the way along. So each of these little kind of dimples here is a stitch. So we're gonna go one, two, three, Four, all the way along, each one of these little dimples gets a double crochet. So wrap your yarn and into the next stitch right here. One double crochet. Wrap your yarn and you can look what I'm doing with my fingers. I'm really moving my fingers forward and back. I'm holding right where I'm crocheting and then I'm moving them back to see that next stitch, but I'm leaving my finger behind. So I have somewhere to push my hook onto. So into that next stitch, I'm pushing right onto my finger. 
grab your yarn and bring it back. And now I'm gonna move my fingers holding right underneath that stitch, right where my working yarn is coming from. So my working yarn is this yarn right here, and I'm holding right underneath it to keep that stitch in all my work nice and tidy. So grab your yarn, turn your hook, take off two. I'm moving my fingers again to hold higher up, right underneath that working yarn, sizing your loops, turning your hook, and taking off two. Sizing your loop, wrapping your yarn, looking for that next dimple right there, that next stitch. Put your hook in onto your finger, move your finger out of the way, grab your yarn and bring it through, move your hands, you're holding right underneath that stitch, size your loops, wrap your yarn, take off two, wrap your yarn, and take off two, just like that. So now I'll show you what that looks like in slow motion. your row, we have our last double crochet to work into. So we're ignoring our chains. So wrap your yarn and into that same stitch as your stitch marker. Bring your yarn back, wrap your yarn, taking off two, wrapping your yarn and taking off two. So that is our last double crochet of the row. You can move your stitch marker up, just into that stitch underneath our hook the last one we made, right there. And that finishes our second row of double crochet. So chain three, one, two, and three. Slide your hand under your working yarn, grabbing your work and turning it. And now wrap your yarn. We're gonna go into that very first stitch like we did before. You can move that stitch marker out of the way if it's bothering you and wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two, and now we wanna move that stitch marker up right underneath our working yarn. So we wanna go right into this stitch here, the top of that real double crochet, and we're ignoring our chain, that's just to give us some height. So wrap your yarn, and now we're gonna go into every stitch, making one double crochet, same as the last row. So our next stitch is right here, and then here, here, here. We're just gonna be going into the stitch in between these little bits of yarn, like little dimples. So we're gonna go one double crochet into each of these spots all the way along. At the end of our row, we have our stitch marker. If you are not using stitch markers, it is this last little stitch on the hill. So it's a little slopey bit right here, and that is our stitch. We're gonna go right into that stitch right there. So wrap your yarn and into that stitch, your last double crochet of the row. Chain three to get your height, one, two and three. Slide your hand under your working yarn, turn your work, and if you're not using stitch markers again, it is this little stitch right here along the edge. That is your first stitch. So wrap your yarn and into the first stitch, your first double crochet, just like that. And I can pause the video and keep working along. You wanna do six rows of double crochet. So to count your double crochet, there is one row, two rows, three rows, four rows, five rows, and six rows. So when you've completed your six rows, chain one, like we always do when we finish our work. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. 
pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails and you're finished. If you don't want these big loops going along the side, those are your chain threes, you can do your double crochet coaster with just a chain two. That'll keep it a lot more straight on your edges, but I wanted to teach you the chain three with your double crochet to start because that is what you'll be seeing with lots of patterns. A chain three counts as the same height as a double crochet in most patterns. So that's why I wanted you to just associate those two together with your very first coaster. If you're making more, you can substitute a chain two or you can even just pull up a loop and do a super big chain one to turn. But we're gonna be doing that in a separate class coming up on how to keep a straight edge. So I hope you enjoyed this class as much as I did, and I'm really looking forward to the rest of them. There is a link to the playlist for the classes in the description box down below. If you haven't joined or subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit those links in the description box down below. There's also links of where to find me on social media. I'd love to see how your coasters turned out. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next class. Stay hooked.